Hey crafters, in today's video we are featuring three kid-friendly DIY ornament projects that you can use to decorate your tree this holiday season. And for more ideas like this, don't forget to subscribe at the end of the video. Let's get into it. For our first project, we're going to take this 12 by 12 piece of scrap paper and lay it face down on our flat surface. We're going to use Mod Podge to adhere the paper to our wood cutouts. Now I got six of these cutouts from the dollar store and then the other two ornaments were already in my stash. I just didn't have any other cutouts that I could find or different shapes. When you are doing this project with a child, make sure they don't um, ingest any of the because it is not a substance. But once you have all that face on your paper, you're going to want to let them dry for three hours to make sure they paper nicely. And I actually wait um, a book or two on top of the cutout so that was proper. Once all your shapes are dry, you're going to want to use scissors to cut out each shape as close to the edge. If you are with a child, you want them to use safety scissors and then you can go back. Uh, if you're doing this project for yourself, you can a Zacto knife. I didn't have one, so I just shoot my shoot scissors that I use for everything. Then you're going to take your shape and place it face down. You're going to cut about 10 inches of twine and then fold it in half to create a loop at the top. So the loop will be the part that attaches to the tree and then the loose end you're going to place some hot glue about an inch into the and glue the end of the twine to it and that is how you connect the twine to the shape and then you're ready to hang it on the tree. We are going to use one sheet of the 12 by 12 cardstock and fold it into, cut and fold it into four six by six squares. Then on each square, you're gonna fold it in half and draw a tree like this on the back side of each square. Once you have your tree drawn on your first square, you're gonna cut out that tree and use that first tree as a template for cutting out the remaining trees. So in total you will have, if you have four squares, you will have four trees. And I actually only use three trees because I overcut on my first tree, so um, I just had to throw it away. <laughs> but um, as you can see here, this is how I use the first tree as a template to trace an identical tree on the back side and then I just did it three times so I can have identical trees to cut out and that way when we glue the trees together they will be symmetrical. And here I'm taking my glue stick and gluing two sides of trees together and that makes a tree and then if you had four glue the other two but since I didn't so I am going to be gluing down my twine as well and you're going to do the same thing about the 10 inches of twine used. You're going to create a loop just like we did in the first project and put that twine in about in the middle of the trees and then you're going to glue your first half to your second half if you had all fours. In this case I'm only I only have three, so I am just gluing that third piece up of the twine and sandwiching it in the middle. So you may look at the project and see that you have some extra white edges. So all you want is just once your tree is together, trim it down, trim off all the excess white paper. And if you have two sides, parts off after this, but I have only one side, trim off all the extra excess paper and. I 
second squeeze and you just want to coat the ornament as best as you can without having the paint spill out and once you get to um, once you get about 75% of the orb covered you're going to want to glue on your top and even add another squeeze of paint because you don't want the paint you want enough paint to cover the orb but you don't want the paint to spill out while you are coating the inside next you're going to cut out your felt. Now I just use the length of the short end of my felt. I don't know, I think it was about maybe 12 or 14 inches. I just use that as my length and then I cut about an inch thick of a strip and hot glued that down to my ornament and I just kept gluing all the way around my ornament. As you can see there's already hot glue on there because I messed up the first time. Um, so just make sure your belt or black felt is as straight as possible and then if you, once you get to the end if you have any excess or unevenness uh, you can go ahead and cut that off. Next you're going to want to take your chenille stem and bend it around your two fingers and you're going to do this three times on the side and then on the side where the stem laps you're going to cut off one of the tails that you don't need like this and you're going to fold that into the middle of the squirrel buckle and you cut part of the tail halfway in and then it creates a buckle shape and then you just glue, hot glue that to your ornament and you're pretty much done with the project. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe for more crafty ideas and I will catch you guys next time.